I feel like this is one of the best things that I've ever made. I love, love, love to cook. I've always loved to cook. I mean, I wasn't 40 pounds heavier because I don't like to cook. I love to cook. I love to create in the kitchen. I cook every single day. Many of my recipes are, you know, they're just right here. And I've shared with you guys many times that I was taught to cook by my little Italian grandma from Sicily, and she doesn't measure anything, or she didn't measure anything. It was just a little of this and a little of that, and I would watch her cook, and that's how I learned to cook. Being really diligent about, did I just use one tablespoon, or did I use two tablespoons? You know, I have not been good about that, and I admit that. And I feel bad because I don't want to let you guys down. If I do a recipe that I love and you can't recreate it, that is no good. So if you're in my Facebook group, you already know this, but I started a food blog. I am so super excited about it. I'm going to leave the link here. It's called Living Life on Track. So don't confuse that. And some people have. My so my Instagram is ww living life on track. My Facebook group is ww living life on track. But the website to my food blog is just livinglifeontrack.com. So if you go there and all you do is you just scroll, you find the little section that says sign up, you put your email in and your name. And from there forward, every time I upload a recipe, which is more often than what I'm doing YouTube videos, because I'm not, you know, if I eat three meals in a day, but it so happens to be a day that I didn't film, then at least one of those recipes will go on my food blog. So if you're signed up for that, you will get more recipes, just so you know. And also I'm doing all three plans. So I'm figuring out points for blue, green, and purple. Any time that I'm going to use my slow cooker, the very first thing I do is get it out, turn it on high to get it warmed up, kind of like a preheat, and then I go ahead and spray it with my extra virgin olive oil. Now, in this case, I threw my two tablespoons of minced garlic down in there because I want to kind of get that warmed up so it'll be ready when we put the rest of our ingredients in. Okay, ready? Easy, easy, easy. Let me just tilt you down here. Okay, so here's my slow cooker right here, just warming up. And I've already, I always preheat my slow cooker. So I already have my garlic in there. So there's two tablespoons of garlic in there right now. And I just like to sort of preheat it a little bit. I don't like to throw cold food in it. And then here are all of our vegetables that we're going to need, and they're already chopped up. So I have two stalks of celery, three medium-sized carrots. I love carrots. That's why I put three in there. Put as many as you want. If you don't like, you can omit this, you guys. If there's a vegetable you don't like, just take it out. No big deal. So I have three carrots. I have one chopped red onion. It was medium sized. I have one small summer squash and I have one small zucchini. So if you guys don't know, squash and zucchini look identical. These sort of yellow summer squash, it looks just like a zucchini. It's just a different color. And I say that because, you know, I've told you guys before, my daughter, I have two daughters, but one of them has a family and she cooks a lot. And she always tells me, Mom, you have to make sure that when you're telling people directions, kind of like what I was telling you guys in the beginning of this video, you have to be specific and not everybody knows what you're talking about. So if you know what this squash looks like, then I apologize. But for those of you who don't know, then, you know, hopefully, that helped you out a little bit. So I am just kind of mixing this through 
Um, also, it's in the recipe, and I will link the recipe below. Like I said, definitely go sign up um, for the food blog, livinglifeontrack.com, but I will put the link below. I did spray my crock pot with olive oil. You'll see that in the recipe. Um, so I'm just kind of mixing these veggies around a little bit. And then the only other ingredients that you're going to need are the following. Move you a little closer here so you can see. So we're gonna use two cups of cheese tortellini. Any brand, um, these scanned at um, seven per three quarters cup. So just to give you an idea of what you're looking for, like Members Mark is pretty low. Trader Joe's has one that's pretty low. So, but when I, you know, like I said, per three quarters cup, we're gonna use two cups of this. So I'm just giving you a baseline of what you can buy if that makes sense. Okay, one can of diced tomatoes. We just talked about the two tablespoons of garlic that's already in there. We're gonna use one teaspoon of better than bouillon vegetable base. This is actually a vegetarian recipe. Totally delicious, there's no meat in here. I've seen these where people put meats in, but for me tonight, I just want this to be all vegetable. I love this. Now, a lot of times you guys will ask me, can I use a bouillon cube? Yeah, absolutely you can. It won't taste as good, but you can if you want to. And then this is four tablespoons of reduced fat Philadelphia cream cheese. We're also gonna need two cups of water. So let's get our ingredients going. Okay, I'm gonna start with the two cups of water because the garlic definitely did what I wanted it to do. It became very fragrant while I was chopping up my other vegetables, but it's kind of stuck just a tiny bit down here to the crock pot, so I want to get that moving around. By the way, just in case somebody thinks I didn't measure, um, if I'm telling you two cups, I really did measure it. I just don't think that things like, I'll give you guys an example. I don't think things like this as a cup or, you know, when you use a coffee cup, are using something like this and calling it a teaspoon. I just don't think it gives you accurate measurements. So for me, if I'm really trying to have you duplicate a recipe, I measure. Um, for obvious reasons, I was telling you guys earlier, I want you to be able to duplicate it. Okay, so let's get our cheese in. That is four tablespoons, and that one is easy to measure because it's actually right on your little bag here. Well, now I'm gonna throw my tomatoes in. I love this recipe. Um, many of you have asked me before if I take my recipes from food blogs or cookbooks or things like that. And I do read cookbooks all the time. Like, I just love reading them. I do love reading recipe books and I gain a lot of inspiration from them. But if I'm giving you a recipe, it's an original recipe. And I tell you that because, this is just pepper. I tell you that because sometimes I have people ask if they can reprint my recipes and they always wanna know if it's you know someone else's and never, 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 I will always tell you guys if it's someone else's recipe because that's just the right thing to do. Okay, now, this is gonna be, you guys are probably looking at me right now going, uh, Barrett, that is definitely not a measured amount. And you are correct on that because with dry spices, I feel like it's to taste. And everybody's going to be different in that category. So for me, this is two tablespoons of dry basil. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put our two cups of tortellini in. Definitely measure those. You know, things that are not zero points, 
I mean, you should probably measure the zero points anyway or get in the habit of it. You don't have to, but it's not that bad of an idea to learn sizes, measurement sizes and whatnot. But on pointed food, you definitely want to measure because you, you know, you're counting those points and it, it does make a difference. Okay, we have everything in here. I'm going to get the lid on. This will probably go for two hours. It's been now two hours and 15 minutes. This is done. I just tried it. It is delicious. Let me scoot it a little closer. You can see all that cheesy sauce. Let me give you a close up here. Absolutely fantastic. Now here's the really good news. It is four points on all plans, green, blue, and purple. And I got six servings out of this, six one cup servings. That is one cup. I measured it out with my cup over there. So look how delicious that looks. I am totally excited to eat this. <laughs>